welcome back and yes we are gonna use some more garlic dough and try to catch some more bream and hope that we don't wreck any more of our gear if you were with me in the last video something crazy happened so <clears throat> you never know it may just happen again now I'm jumping into this and uh, gonna get fishing because of the time it's midnight right now so we don't want to wait anymore the clip is already set up right let's just get going I don't know if that cast was long enough gotta remember what we're doing here I do I do remember that we I had talked about making some more ground bait but oh that's not what we need all right let's see here's our broken lacerti we did repair it that's not the right line that is not the right line at all did we lose all of our line when the when the thing broke I think we're gonna have to run back to town real quick that's a nice first fish if we could just catch a bunch of those I would be pretty pleased. All right, let's jet. Be nice to be a little more um, focused on saving our money right now, but we've got to replace this rig, and I think it's probably worth getting a little bit more ground bait stuff too. So we definitely need line. At what point do we just get a bigger line? How much silver do we have? I guess I'm going to try to survive off the small stuff one more time and then ground bait wise we can now use pearl barley one two three four five one two three four five And the safe choice is sunflower oil. Let's go with fish oil as an option now. Caramel. Yeah, we're going to go. We're going to go that way. Let's get out there. I guess we should look real quick and make sure that there's nothing else. We didn't lose bite indicator. We did lose feeder. So... It's a good thing we didn't go yet. Feeder, cheap one, small one. Leader. How are we doing on hooks? Eight hook and garlic dough. So now we just need to get that set up and we're good to go. The more I've thought about it, the more I think that having the leader as an inappropriate size is the most contributing factor to why we lost that reel yesterday, why we snapped that reel. I must 
have my earbuds in backwards because it sounds like the bell is coming from one direction and yet it's coming from the other direction so so we're going to try to do this without running this into the red a whole lot so that we don't snap another reel mostly just because it set us back 31 silver I mean that's at this point in the grinding leveling process you feel 31 silver another nice one all right let's go ahead and set this one out get this one out there I think we have a I think we have a fish on the other line but ground bait let's uh, bream sub pearl barley Now we can use that feed we can technically use some sort of tinch substitute if we want to Okay, so we have a 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, and a 2 out of 10. Let's test them, see if they're going to work good. We'll put them on the front line, I think. Mm, my goodness. So another session or two, we'll probably be at about 15 and a half. 
terms of level wise as far as unlocking lakes 16 does unlock quarry um, but we're, we've got a ways to go in terms of having the gear to to go to quarry I do look forward to quarry quarry will be interesting because it until I really get to know all the spots and figure out stuff it may be pretty slow I just haven't done a lot of bottom fishing at quarry lately the other issue I'm going to have is we really need to we need to increase our gear but we need to get harvesting baits to 50% for burbot at quarry so it will be interesting to see when we do make that transition to quarry I don't really make it, think it makes sense going without at least two two of our rigs being upgraded. So we've probably got a while here at Oldberg still. Well, I'm not crazy with how long it has taken to get a bite right now on all three rides. I think this one I didn't necessarily cast exactly where we typically do, but it didn't seem to matter yesterday. What I do want to do is go ahead and put on some of our ground bait that we just made. See if that gets the bream fired up a little bit more. Is this an 8 hook? No, it's a 13. Okay, we need to change that next time we pull it in. What size hooks do I have right now? I'd rather have a 6 on there than a 13. But what I really want is an 8. Let's grab a... Um, halfway decent size 8 hook <sighs> what's the first yeah It's a lot of silver, but as long as we don't wreck it and lose, our, lose it too soon, it's worth it probably. All right, the fish start biting again. Oh, yeah. Did I clip this thing correctly? It sure feels like it is a long way out there. That's a nice bream. Yeah, it's clipped. It's just not, I cannot get this thing to stop.
Oh yeah, we probably ought to go ahead and change all the lines to the new uh, ground bait. Wow. Two point four. I think I need to recast that middle line. Well, there it went. Okay, it did clip. For some reason, just it was harder for me to get to the end on that one. consistently doing really well on this rod right now it's the one that's had the new ground bait on it the longest three kilos that is some good stuff again all right we're gonna go a little bit longer it's gonna be a much shorter video than normal but uh, I wanted to get back on the horse pretty quick in terms of coming out here and facing these bream again seeing if we get uh, get into any more trouble and uh, so far we've we've survived and We've probably got about another hour and a half in game time of decent bream fishing. Maybe a little less than that. We'll see. And then hopefully next video when I have time to do it, in the next day or two we'll um, be able to do a full 24 hour cycle and do some non-bream fishing during the daytime. But as you can see, this spot's pretty lucrative even with the occasional hiccup it's um right now at least it's still pretty lucrative we'll see if the bream move again or when they move again
pretty roachy. I think that was four roaches in a row. Which, if that's not a sign about the bream, <laughs> I don't know what is. Yeah, if this is another roach, we may go ahead and wrap it up now. Hoping to see what comes out in the next fish. I think this is about the time that we should probably move off the bream. You could definitely do it longer and you might get an occasional uh, marker to come in. It's just not going to be the same percentage as it is overnight. Did not check the cafe order, so let's look at those real quick. Okay, well, at least we got the uh, third rig back put together, and we are ready to start grinding out some grinding out some bream. All right, so this is a pretty interesting test. Only 18 fish, not all of them markers. Still 50 silver, pretty short amount of time. I will take it. That's a pretty good little quick fishing session on those bream. They're just pretty good money, especially for this level. Alright, as always, thanks for watching.